unsure if Tiny is going to be able to get these trees out of here. Hey everyone, Mike here, Rush Garage and Homestead. Welcome back to the channel. So we've used Tiny to dig out some stumps here on this place and then over at Joe's, some rockier environment. But we haven't used time to dig out any actual trees yet. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're down by the pond. So let me show you what we're working on. So you can see, pond's drying out. It's not dry enough where I can get out there and, and really start digging yet. But we've got a pin oak right here on this side. And then we got this little double right here. That is a post oak and a river birch. So we need to try to get both of these out of here. So my end goal, it's gonna take a while, but down here on this side of the pond where we've done some digging right here, I wanna just keep moving this direction with it, taking this uh, larger step out and just kind of widening the neck out of this pond. Once it dries up enough, I want to get out here and dig it down deeper. And if I can get it deep enough, we'll end up putting some brush piles out here for the crappie and the bass. So I think what I'll start doing, I'll back Tiny up right over in here and try to reach back on that side of the stump and dig out everything I can, pull forward and dig out this side. Then once that's done, I'll reposition and start digging out both sides over here and we'll see if we can't push this thing over. Now you can see these trees are in pretty good. Several years ago, I tried pushing on it with a dozer. That's what all those marks are. And they didn't want to budge with the dozer. So I imagine there's a pretty good root system here on these trees, but we'll see if Tiny can't go ahead and rip through all that. And also uh, river birch actually makes pretty good firewood. So all of these trees aren't going to go to waste, uh, even the smaller post oak. I'll end up dragging all of these up here to the wood yard, which are right next to the wood yard, and these all get cut up for firewood. So that's what we got going on today. Let's see how Tiny does. <laughs> So the nice thing about these backhoes is they hang off so far past you can uh, hang off the edge of a bank like this. So you guys can see, we got a good little bit, got several of these roots ripped up. I just kind of piled everything over there. Next, we're gonna work on right in here, getting some of these ripped up, and then I'll start both sides.
Okay, that uh, that root was a little bit of a booger to get out of there. It took quite a bit of digging. I had to reposition so I could just get a little better bite on it. And then it finally came loose. That is the root. Big mess of stuff. I'm unsure if Tiny is going to be able to get these trees out of here. But at least if I get all the roots broke up, that'll make it a lot easier on the dozer to just push them over. Okay, let's start digging on this other side. got dug around all four sides of this that's still a pretty good size root ball and there's quite a bit of dirt mounted up in here so i'm going to come in through here with the front end loader kind of smooth some of the stuff out and we'll see if we can't reach the back up here and push one of these trees out or get them both out these trees aren't the largest but they are they are fairly tall so let's see if we can do it That oak is hung up in the birch. Got the oak down. I spent way too much time and effort. 
the streets coming out of here. I did leave a large root system on this birch. I'm sure the dozer would have no issue pushing it out right now. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to see what Tiny will do. I think this machine would really benefit from a ripper shank on here. I could just come through here and basically rip everything out and then dig it. Can you dig it? Can These roots are tough. Should probably go get some more bucket teeth and have them on hand. You can see me breaking some of these. Really surprised they did as well as it did over at Joe's. That was some tough digging in that rock. They did good though. All I'm doing is using the bucket curl just and shoving them teeth in there, just trying to rip whatever roots I can out of it. You guys can see I've got a pretty good pile of them so far. They don't have the, uh, the digging strength of a regular excavator or a full-fledged backhoe, but it beats a shovel. Like I said, we put way too much time and effort into this. This tree's coming out one way or another. Okay, this tree has kicked my rear pretty hard, but we're not done with it yet. I've got a pretty good trench dug on both sides of it. Another big pile of dirt over there. So I think I'm gonna have to push some dirt right back off in here, just so it's gonna be loose anyways. So the outriggers and stuff are gonna sink. Uh, otherwise, I just, I need something to push up against. So I'm gonna push some dirt just right off in here and then we'll bring the backhoe back over here and try to get this birch pushed over. This thing's got a great loader on it.
Oh, it wants to. There we go. She's coming out now. Yes. I really wasn't sure if that was going to happen or not. Well, honestly, I'm impressed. The birch tree fought me quite a bit. I had to dig down quite a bit. You guys seen to get that thing to start budging. Once I got it loose, just kind of started working it back and forth and it finally pushed on over. So we got a post oak and a river birch and then a pin oak right here. I'm not gonna mess with that one today. This video is gonna be long enough. I think Tiny's more than capable of pulling this tree out. This one, I don't know if it's going to or not. We gotta get this root ball up and over this ledge. So if I go to tie a chain around that, whatever I hook to it, that's gonna pull it, it's gonna wanna swing this tree up. So you just gotta be careful whenever you're pulling something like this because that root ball's gonna grab and that tree's gonna sling around. But as long as you're paying attention, it'll be fine. But this video has been long enough. It took me right at three hours to dig these two trees out. I don't know how long this video is gonna end up being. I'm gonna shoot for around 20 minutes-ish, somewhere in there, but I hope everyone enjoyed it. All right, like I said, that root ball's got a big ledge to go on, so that top's liable to flip around on us. We'll just have to watch it while we're pulling. See how that thing reared up? It's still reared up. Hope it don't hit you all. No, nope. it's shooting, it's rolling, looks like. Nope, it's gonna hit you. Ah! You guys okay? Man, sorry. Okay, you can see, that's where it was. Pulled up this little ledge. That's where it's sitting. So, this will sit up here. I'll get it cut up sometime. That root ball, that'll get cut off and shoved in the ravine behind the pond. Yeah, I'm pretty confident Tiny wouldn't have uh, got that out as much as we could have tried. The big tractor struggled to get it out. It doesn't necessarily look it, but this root ball, and there's a lot of mass in that thing. It goes, it's probably six foot across to that other side. From there, clear over to there, that's about six foot. And then from where the stump would be to the bottom of the root ball, that's probably close to three foot. So a lot of mass in that root ball. But just the fact that Tiny was able to break through all those roots and get the birch tree and oak tree out, still makes me pretty happy to have that machine. I'll get this pin oak at a later time. Like I said earlier, those took way too much time. I'll try to include all the 
informative stuff and just keep it as short as possible for you guys. I appreciate every one of you being here. If you enjoyed the video, give the video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.